Friday. Go Buckeyes! Woohoo! It is Buckeye Saturday. Back to Buckeye Saturday. Hello, hello, hello. I hope you have a favorite team that you root for. If you can't tell, I'm a big Buckeye fan. So, I even had a jersey that's made. So, bonus mom. Also meaning stepmom, but... Uh, they're my bonus, not that I'm their bonus. So that's why I bonus mom. But check this out. Check this out. Look at all my signatures I've gotten over the years. We went on the Buckeye Cruise for cancer. And I have added a few signatures over the years. Um, I've got um, Heisman. I've got Archie on here. I've got um, Eddie George is on here. I can't remember. There's one other one. I think there's three Heisman that I have. Is it Troy Smith? Yeah, I think. Um, but anyhow, it is decorated, decorated. I love this. I always wear this for the Buckeye games. Um, if I'm going or if we're at a party or something. Sometimes at home I don't wear it, but today I wanted to get it on and I actually turned it around backwards so you could see all my fun stuff. There's Josh Perry, number 37. I've got uh, AJ Hawk on here, Doug the Dish, um, JJ Sollinger. I've got Scooney Penn. Some are not um, football players. I've got Tyvus Powell. I've, oh my gosh, I have so many. It's so it's actually fading over the years, but I absolutely, absolutely love it. So, okay, let's do an eye again because everybody is asking for eyes. So, I already have my lips. I already have my um, um, blush and everything on. I just didn't do my eyes or my eyebrows today. So, let me start out by showing you how to do like eyebrows with an eyebrow pencil just really simple so you can see the difference here it's kind of gotten sparse and as I've gotten younger so let me just start here and I'm just gonna go in and I'm see how lightly I'm stroking I'm just doing I don't know why my my video keeps pausing okay did that yesterday do know so I'm just kind of going very lightly, very lightly, all right, just kind of the natural um, where your eyebrow is, okay? And I like to go kind of on the top because you're bringing your eyebrow up, so you're definitely, definitely... I like that and you don't want to bring it too far down because the more you bring it down that's how your eye um, will be portrayed and you don't want to have that down so I think I'm about done okay so check this out and check that one out just a little bit of oomph and it makes a huge difference in your eyebrow um, and your face actually it eyebrows frame the face definitely so let's go ahead and do this one so we got that look at look at the difference there all right so I'm gonna go back in same thing just really really light strokes I'm using my um, pencil from Celeste and I think this one is the light brown is what I'm using there's all different shades that you can get. So, um, obviously, I would start out with lighter if you've never done it. Because the darker, you don't want to look like um, Bridezilla or Frankenstein's Bride or something like that. So, that's what I'm doing. Alright, so... And then you take the handy dandy spoolie, which I love. It's a basically a mascara wand, which I'm looking right now, and I can tell this eyebrow is a little bit higher than this one. So what I can do is go back in and just kind of go a little bit more up here, 
just a teeny. All right. And then when we go back in to do the spoolie, just kind of blends it all in. And I like to go up and kind of over is what I like to do. Kind of up and over, up and over. And this is, if you get it too thick, I probably could have left it without the spoolie. I have got some stuff on me. I don't know what it is. Don't know what it is, but I like to just kind of go up and over, up and over. So if you want to make a difference, and I just see a little bit right here. I'm going to fill that in real quick. Right there, right there. And then I'll take my spoolie, make sure. Yeah, perfect, perfect. All right, so eyebrows normally don't match exactly, but you have an idea. But you don't want to go any farther down. I don't know if you've seen them where they draw down or whatever. I'd rather have it more up here than down here, okay, because it will draw down your face. Okay, so what is everybody doing today? So excited. It's game day. I'm rearranging my office somewhat. Um, yeah, I still need to get to it. Get to it. Get to it. I was motivated last night at midnight, and I thought, I have all these big plans today. It may be tomorrow. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. All right, let me grab. I'm going to do a very, I'm going to do paint by numbers again for, um, my eyeshadow because I did that yesterday and everybody seemed to like it if I can get this open okay all right so these are the colors right here but I like that gray and that cream I'm not real big on blue unless I'm wearing blue and you have to be careful otherwise you're gonna end up like Mimi on Drew Carey everybody remembers her right okay so I'm gonna go in let me wipe this off. Hello, hello, everybody. Hello, hello. If you're on here, say hi. Hope you're doing well. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get in with the cream sparkle. And I already put primer on my eye like I did yesterday. And if you haven't watched that video, definitely go watch that video because that was a cool colors and again paint by number kind of eye so I'm just doing exactly the same thing starting out all right we are doing and I'm going to go right up to the brow this time because this is more of a highlight color so we're doing one color and I'm I have a flat fluffy brush is what I'm doing and kind of patting it on all right so hey Ann how are you so again simple eye tricks so this versus that all right so let's go in and do the same on this eye patting it patting it all the way I don't know why my internet must be wacky today. Everything, all the, it's getting paused again. All right, so, again, this is what I'm doing. Okay, make sure, especially, and on this one, you could almost take it in the corner there and kind of highlight it because, can I do a little V there? instead of with your eye pencil because you just want it to pop all right all right so now i'm going to go back in with looking for okay i am i hope everybody's having a good day today what are you doing so i'm going to go in with this kind of a brush it's kind of a slant brush but i'm going to go in and i'm going to grab some gray all right, and this time I'm not going to do what I did yesterday. I'm going to make it, there's going to be two colors today with some eyeliner. Literally, two colors and an eyeliner. So I'm grabbing this right here, this gray. 
All right, it's a darker gray charcoal. All right. And first I'm going to kind of make almost like a wing. See that? And then I'm going to go in here and I'm going to make a V. All right. A very, very big kind of V. See that? All right, let's go back. Let's do the same to the other eye. Just showing you a couple tricks. So we've got the one was all over there. Oh, I don't know if it's the correct way, but these are the these are tips that I've learned over the years and then tips I've learned especially in the last year. And I really, really know that it helps me and do it an easy way. All right. I know there's stamps out there now that you can get kind of that makes almost a wing. But again, see that brush? All right. It's kind of a slant brush. And I'm just kind of doing this and I'm making a V. Very, very simple V. All right. All right. So now close that up. Close that up. Now I'm going to take my, let me see here. Where is my fluffy brush? There we go. So I'm going to go in with my fluffy brush. I'm just wiping it off here. Hello, hello, hello. What's everybody doing today? If you're watching live, give me a live. If you're watching a, the replay, make sure you do a replay. Hashtag replay. So now I'm going in with my brush, the fluffy brush, and I am blending. But see how I'm, looks like I'm beating myself. I'm blending in. I'm blending in, not out. Blending in. All right. So just make it, and now look at my eye. See how that's elongated like that? I'm doing a very, very simple eye today, just with two colors, all right? So I'm brightening up the eye, and then just a little on the outer crease. I have hooded eyes, if you need to Google that. Um, basically what it means is my eyelid, if I look straight at you, my, basically my eyelid is kind of hooded, meaning you cannot see my eyelid. So I have to do things a little bit different. If you have a lot of real estate in your eyes, you can do things a lot differently. But I'm learning about that too because I've done some other um, people's eyes. And so see how I did that. Let me look at my mirror and make sure. Oh yeah, that looks. So basically I blended it, all right? But I still look like I have sort of a wing and it's elongating my eyes but it's and then that shade is brightening up that color all right so now 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 all right let me get let me get a little bit of powder like I said you may have some fallout I don't have a lot but if you do you can go back with a little bit of translucent powder or you can do your eyes first and then your foundation but I'm just kind of and another thing another little trick is to take this and if you watched yesterday you can always take your concealer and kind of put it right there all right and it cleans up anything Oops, it cleans up any of those, like if you went too far out, okay? So I'm just putting it right there, kind of cleans it up, makes it a little bit, so your eye, basically this and this is staying within your eye. You don't want to, again, bring it down. You want to bring it up and over to elongate your eyes, okay? All right, so let's grab... I love my little white pencil. Let me show you. All right, so look at this eye versus that eye. Look how awake that eye versus that eye, just with that pop of white in the in the um, water water line.
Okay, so again, and if you could add it here, but I already added that shadow down there, but you could put some in there. You can put some above your lip. You can contour your nose. You can put a highlighter above there. All kinds of things to do with the white to make your um, face pop, okay? All right, so now I want to, so I said I was gonna use, so I am going to use a, um, a eye pencil today and mine happens to be I'm gonna use a green because my eyes are green or hazel and sometimes with the green it makes them more pop now you can use black you can use brown you can use whatever color you want but I am going to use like an olive and I'm putting it right down here this one's really really sharp so what I'm doing is kind of dulling it a little bit so it goes on smooth there we go. And again, I'm putting it on in the corner here. I'm not going all the way around. You can tight line too, which is above here. If you have black, you could do something like that if you wanted. All kinds of different ways. And then I'm going right over where the gray was, doing the same thing on the top making a V. I think it's all about the V's today. All right? And then you can kind of flick like that. All right? So, look at this eye just with just that little bit of V right there. Check that out and then look at that one. So it's almost like this is just like a little bit more to make it done and make your eyes again elongated so let me take my mirror here do it this way kind of show you exactly what I'm doing and again I'm not going all the way because I don't feel like when you get older younger when you get <laughs> younger you don't need it all the way but it's totally up to you some people love it all the way around I mean and if I was um, a little bit younger I probably would but right now I'm just doing these all right just making sure and kind of even making sure that I got it okay so what do you think just a simple eye look all right now if the white is too much for you and you're like oh I don't know about all that you could do a cream you could do another color you could only put it on your eyelid if you wanted and then just do the V's. Whatever. Makeup is something to play around with and get comfortable and try what works for you and your face and your skin type. All right. Um, let's see here. Let's go. Let me look. So I'm looking for. Hold on one second here. Hold, please. All right. I've got my serum here, and I'm just going to add that as my primer today before I add on my eyelashes. So if you have a primer for your mascara, um, some use, some don't. Some use a um, eyelash curler, which I get my eyelashes curled, but they need it. They need it right now. So... It's kind of like a perm for your eyelashes. I love it. It lasts about six to eight weeks, and it's just something for me. I haven't done it for a while, though, so it's time I get them done again, but um, today I'm just using the serum, all right, as a primer. I, if you can look, I do not have that long of eyelashes. Um, they're, they're growing with the serum but I just don't have that long of eyelashes. So I need a great, great mascara and I have one. So this, and let me put this on here. And I love using the serum beforehand because it really gets my eyes prepped and ready to go. All right, and let me show you the brush I'm using on this particular 
um, mascara. So this mascara and the eye, let's see, the eyeshadow that I used are all with the new company that I am adding. I am so stinking excited. Um, they will be live in October, so I will have a website then to be able to share with you and um, show you all the different makeup. Home goods, makeup, um, so look at this. Just like that little coat makes a huge difference on my eyes. And this, just so you know, let's see here. Fabrilic, Fabrilic. This is $10. $10. And here's the brush. So it's like $9.99, okay? There's the brush. I am so, like I said, I don't know why it keeps pausing today. Facebook doesn't like me. So I am so excited for this to launch and be able to share all the goods. So we are going to have, this is something, a company I'm adding. They do have amazing skincare. The skincare has patents. So they are one of a kind in the world. So look at this eye and versus that eye. Huge difference. And I think it finishes off when even though this looks like a lot, and again, you can blend it if you want, or with putting on mascara, it just kind of finishes it off. And then it, you're like, oh, okay, I like, or I get the look. I don't know if you like the look. Um, so this new company that will be launching in October, everything is so affordable so affordable so think of Nordstrom quality which is the truth the things that I have tried so far we've only had been able to get a few samples here and there because um, they haven't launched yet in the US but what I've tried so far I absolutely love I've read and done my research and I'm like the company is already 20 years in the business and they're in 44 countries already. So this is not new to them. They're just going to launch in the United States. We will have a, um, a factory and a shipping and everything in Nashville, Tennessee. So very excited. Just adding a little bit underneath there. Again, my eye eyelashes are sparse. Um, I can't wait to try their, because um, I'm using an old serum from another company, and I can't wait to try their eye serum. All right? Um, but like I said, this is like $9.99. I do not know the price of this. They have it in all different colors for eyeshadow. So this is the only one I could get my hands on as I drop everything. Eh, too funny. I am dropping everything. This is the only thing I could get my hands on right now. But they have all different colors. Um, I have, what else do I have? I have this, which is what I have on today for the my blush, my contour, and my highlighter. I think this is less than 20. I mean, I, I'm talking the prices are just unreal. Um, I have a eye ink liner, um, which I like, and I think that was like $15. Um, the primer that I'm using, do the best. So the company is Faberlic. If you want to know more, message me and I will make sure that you get a message when we are live um, and that you know about the company. 
um, and you'll get, um, there's going to be a VIP customer program that um, the customers can get 20% off of that cost. So let's see, $10, that means your mascara is uh, like $8. So, and I think you just pay a fee for the year. We're finding all that information out. And then you get a 20% off um, discount. I am so excited. My team, um, I have a team, I'm trying to think now, about 15 already that are coming to Faberlic or adding that with our Celeste. So I'm very excited about that in October. That's why I want to get some things behind the scenes done. But yeah, so there it is today. There is my look for the Buckeye football game. So a little bit of gray and a little bit of bling and a little bit of red lipstick. All right. So I hope, I hope this was informative. If you need any other tips, keep watching. And if you need to know when I'm going live and you don't want to miss, I think you can tap my nose, like tap the screen, and then it'll say like something about going live or whatever. Get a notification when she's going live. So if you want to do that, go ahead and do that. I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you stopping by. And I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.